Pomori, Bulgarian, Pomori is a town and seaside resort in southeastern Bulgaria, located on a narrow rocky peninsula in Burgas Bay on the southern Bulgarian Black Sea coast. It is situated in Burgas Province, 20 km away from the city of Burgas and 18 km from the Sunny Beach Resort. The ultrasaline lagoon Lake Pomori, the northernmost of the Burgas Lakes, lies in the immediate proximity. The town is the administrative centre of the eponymous Pomori municipality. Pomori is an ancient city and today an important tourist destination. As of December 2009, it has a population of 13,569 inhabitants. It lies at 42 degrees 33 and 27 degrees 39 e. Name Pomori was founded by the ancient Greeks under the name Ankylos Greek, Ankylos deriving from ancient Greek. Anchi, near, close to, and ALS, either salt, or a poetic and uncommon word for sea. In Latin, this was rendered as Ankylos. The Bulgars called the town Tuthum, though its more common name in Bulgarian was Anhiolo, Anhiolo based on the Greek name. During the Ottoman rule, the town was called Ayolu. In 1934, the town was renamed to Pomori, from the Bulgarian Po, in this context by, next to, and, more, c, corresponding to one of the two etymologies of the original Greek name. History Ancient Greek colony and Roman center Possibly founded in the 5th or 4th century BC as a colony of Apollonia today Sazipol, Ankylos was mentioned in Strabo's Geographica as a small town. It was briefly captured by Mesembria in the 2nd century BC, but reconquered by Apollonia and its fortified walls destroyed. The western Black Sea coast was ultimately conquered by the Romans under Marcus Licinius Crassus in 29–28 BC after continuous campaigns in the area since 72–71. The fortified wall was meanwhile rebuilt, as evidenced by Ovid in 9 AD en route to Thomas. In the early 1st century AD Ankylos was the centre of a strategia of the vassal Odrysian kingdom, and the town had a Thracian population in the 6th century AD according to the early Byzantine historian Procopius. As the Odrysian kingdom's self-independence was abolished in 45 AD, Ankylos became part of the Roman province of Thrace and was formally proclaimed a city under Emperor Trajan. At the time the city controlled a vast territory bordering that of Augusta Trajana Stara Zagora and reaching the Tunza to the west, bordering that of Mesembria to the north and the southern shore of Lake Burgas to the south. Ankylos acquired the appearance of a Roman city and throve in the 2nd and 3rd century under the Severan dynasty, serving as the most important import and export station of Thrace. <laughs> Early Byzantine rule However, the invasion of barbarian tribes from the north meant an end to this prosperity in the middle of the 3rd century, with the Goths briefly capturing Ankylos around 270. Diocletian stayed in the city between 28 and 30 October 294. His and Constantine the Great's reforms restored the city's prosperity for a while, as the proximity to the new capital of Constantinople made Ankylos a key food supply center. Theodoric the Great passed through the city in 476 on the way to Adrianople. A high-ranking Byzantine general named Vitalian in 513 revolted in the region and briefly took control of Ankylos and the neighboring cities to use their fleet in his attack of Constantinople until he was crushed in 515. The bishopric of Ankylos was originally a suffragan of the metropolitan see of Hadrianopolis in Hemamanto, capital of the Roman province of Hemamontus. However, the Notitia Episcopatum of Pseudo Epiphanius, written in the reign of Byzantine Emperor Heraclius, c. 640, gives it as an autocephalous archbishopric, today listed by the Catholic Church as a titular see. The first bishop of the see whose name is known is 2nd century Sotas, mentioned by Eusebius of Caesarea as an adversary of Montanism. Timotheus was at the Council of Sardica in 343 344. Sebastianus was one of the bishops at the First Council of Constantinople of 381. Sebastius was a signatory of the decree of the Patriarch of Constantinople against Simoniacs in 459. 
Paulus was at the Second Council of Constantinople in 553. Jacobus was a contemporary of Patriarch Teresios of Constantinople. Nicolaus was at the Photian Council of Constantinople 879. No longer a residential bishopric, Ancheolus is today listed by the Catholic Church as a titular see. The Slavic and Avar invasion in 584 meant Ancheolos was conquered and its fortifications were destroyed. Avar Kagan Bayan turned the city into his residence for a few months and concluded a peace treaty with the Byzantines. At the eve of his campaigns, the Emperor Maurice visited the city to oversee reconstruction. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Byzantine and Bulgarian rule. After 681 and the formation of the First Bulgarian Empire to the north, Ancheolos played an important role in many conflicts between the two empires. In 708 the forces of Justinian II were completely defeated near the fortress by the army of Bulgar Khan Tervel. On 30 June 763 the Bulgars under Telitz suffered a defeat by the Byzantine army of Constantine V. On 21 June 766 the same emperor's fleet of 2,600 heavy ships sank en route to Ancheolos, where Constantine was waiting, and most soldiers drowned, forcing him to return to Constantinople. In May 783 Irene undertook a demonstrative campaign across Thrace and restored Ancheolos' destroyed fortifications. The city was first conquered by the Bulgarian Empire in 812, under Khan Krum, who settled Slavs and Bulgars in Ancheolos. The Byzantines restored their control over the city and the area in 864. The Battle of Ancheolus took place near the city on 20 August 917, and was one of Tsar Simeon the Great's greatest military achievements. Simeon's army routed the considerably larger Byzantine forces under Leo Phocas. Bulgaria retained the city until 971, when the Byzantine Empire reconquered it and held it for two centuries as Bulgaria was subjugated. After the restoration of the Bulgarian state Ancheolos changed hands several times until it was captured by the Venetian knights of Amadeus VI, Count of Savoy in October 1366. The next year it was ceded to Byzantium. <laughs> Ottoman rule After the Ottoman invasion of the Balkans in the 14th century, Ancheolos remained a Byzantine bulwark until submission in 1453 together with Constantinople. Whilst under Ottoman administration, it became the center of a kaza also encompassing the area around Sazapol as Ayolu. It was the center of an eparchy of the Patriarchate of Constantinople and continued to act as a cultural, religious, economic and administrative center of the region until the early 19th century, as many noble Byzantine families settled after 1453. Two patriarchs of Constantinople stem from the city. Michael III of Ancheolus (1170–1178) and Jeremiah's II Tranos (1572–1579, 1580–1584, 1587–1595). Already before 1819, many prominent locals joined the Greek patriotic organization Feliki Atiria. At the outbreak of the Greek War of Independence 1821, a part of the town's representatives, priests as well as the Orthodox Bishop Eugenios were executed by the Ottoman authorities. During the Russo-Turkish War of 1828–1829 Ankylos was captured by the Russian forces on of July 1829 and held for a year. At the time it was mainly inhabited by Greeks, with minorities of Bulgarians and Turks, had a population of 5,000 to 6,000, six Orthodox churches and a mosque. After the Russian forces withdrew the whole of what is today eastern Bulgaria gradually depopulated, with many people fleeing to the Christian lands to the north. Pomori's St. George's Monastery was founded in 1856. It was a Kaza center in Islami Sanjak of Edirne province before 1878 as Ayolu. Topic. Liberated Bulgaria Ankylos was liberated from Ottoman rule on 27 January 1878 and became part of Eastern Rumelia as a Kaza centre in Burgas Sanjak until Bulgaria unified in 1885. At the turn of the 20th century Ankylos was a predominantly Greek town of about 6,000. Pomori was one of the predominantly Greek inhabited towns in Bulgaria that were aftected by anti-Greek pogroms in early 1900s. 
The local Greek community was already targeted by the Bulgarian authorities from early 1905. The town was burnt down in July, 1906, and over 300 Greeks were murdered. The perpetrators were Bulgarian refugees from the region of Macedonia as a response to the massacre of the Bulgarian inhabitants of the village of Zagorichani by Greek militants. In addition to political reasons there were also economic motives. The Bulgarian authorities were accused by most European governments due to this turn of events. The destruction of the town was compared by contemporary European diplomacy to the anti Jewish pogroms in Russia. The town accommodated many Bulgarian refugees from eastern Thrace, mainly from around Lozengrad after World War I, who replaced the Greeks who had fled in the first decade of the 20th century. In 1906, they founded Nea Ankylos in Greece. During the 19th and 20th century it gradually lost most of its importance in the southern Bulgarian Black Sea coast at the expense of rapidly developing Burgas. It established itself as a centre of wine and salt production and was renamed Pomori in 1934. <inaudible> <inaudible> Landmarks Municipal Museum and Gallery Museum of Salt Ancient Thracian beehive tomb 3rd century AD Traditional 19th century wooden houses Nativity of Theotokos Church 1890 Church of the Transfiguration of God 1765 St George's Monastery 1856 Yavorov's Rocks Topic <laughs> Honor Pomori Point on Livingston Island in the South Shetland Islands, Antarctica is named after Pomori. References Pomori, the ancient Ankylos. In Bulgarian. Pomori.net. Archived from the original on 6 December 2006. Retrieved 6 August 2006. Topic. External links Pomori. Com. Apartments for rent, accommodation in Pomori Pomori Municipality St. George's Monastery of Pomori Image Gallery of the Pomori Municipality